Theater Guild always has something great going on, and we've got a preview of another great performance that's coming up. I want to welcome from the Theater Guild, Bob Matonti and Robin LaValle. Thanks yes. for joining us. Thank you. Well, it's so great to be here. Let's jump right in. The Theater Guild has this, what's a, what's a pun? Panoply of a panoply. A panoply. What's a panoply of plays? I had to look it up. <laughs> I had to look it up myself. So. I looked it up, and a panoply is when you have a, a, a selection of really good stuff. It's like a collection, and mm -hmm. it's a collection mm -hmm. of good things. Okay. So, well, we have, and I used to think a panoply was a bunch of guys on horses, but that's another story. Uh, but a panoply, <laughs> it's a really good, it's a really good group of uh, plays. We have. Uh, we have a little bit something for everybody in here. Mm -hmm. And what it is, is we put this thing together. It's seven plays, seven directors, some of which people who haven't directed a lot, like myself, I've directed once or twice, but it's not really my thing. I'm more of an act mm -hmm. actor type. But it gave us an opportunity to bring, uh, bring different people in. Okay. Uh, along with the scripts. Uh, a lot of people are afraid of acting because they have to how am I going to learn all that script stuff? <laughs> but with our plays, we have, a, we have some of the scripts you learn, you will have to memorize, but others you don't. Okay. So it's kind of a little bit something for everybody. Okay. Now, now Robin, is it, is it, are there still full story arcs in this, or are we taking cl bits, of, bits of bigger plays and putting a section in there? Yeah, that's a good question. Some of the pieces, like my piece that I'm directing, the rehearsal, is a full piece from beginning to end okay. of a group trying to figure out a script. <laughs> Um, where Bob is directing an, uh, a piece from Neil Simon. Okay. So you're seeing one little... A scene. A scene from that it. It has a story arc in it, but right. not quite the whole story. Right. It still has kind of, huh? Oh, we, absolutely. They definitely looked for beginning, middle, and end. Right. So you aren't left hanging, watching the piece. <laughs> yeah. So that's how it's set up? Absolutely. And I can't say enough good things about our actors. We have 25 yes. actors participating. Wow. And in varying degrees of expertise. Some people, uh, some of our actors have a lot of experience. Some of our actors are daring to get on the stage for the first time. Mm -hmm. And we love it because as a director, there's nothing better than to get that, that person who's maybe not sure mm -hmm. and they get up there and they just light up. And then next thing you know, they're auditioning for everything because they just get hooked. So I'm telling you, come down to the theater guild, you're going to get hooked. Okay, well, yeah. sounds like a, almost a threat. <laughs> <laughs> so where did you guys come up with a panoply? Who said, hey, you know what we should try next? <laughs> well, we, we sat around, a bunch of us, and we talked, we threw out a bunch of names, and somewhere along the line, somebody come up with this name, and we threw it into the hat with a bunch of other names, and we, it just kind of stuck. So we all kind of said, you know, that's kind of made it interesting, a little bit something challenging. Uh, something that a guy like me from Brooklyn had to look up. But other, <laughs> but other than that, no, it's, it fit perfectly uh -huh. because it is a collection of really good plays, and they are. It's, it's kind of fun when you see the rehearsals to see this eclectic group uh, from uh, something a little bit more serious to something a lot more fun. And it, it is. It's really, really good. I really hope people come down to see this because yeah. it's going to be very enjoyable. Now, how does it work technically? Are there breaks between the acts, Robin? Or, and are there, there going to be a few minutes of, okay, everybody use the bathroom 10 minutes while we get set up for the next one? Or is I it would, just people yeah, coming on, coming uh, off? Well, <laughs> we have a whole crew. Okay. So what will happen is um, there probably won't be an intermission. Uh, in between? Absolutely not. No. There, as a matter of fact, yeah. it's very wow. seamless. I helped yeah. put, put it together. It's going to be very seamless. There's going to be a short little musical interlude while we reset the stages. And the way our, and I, again, if I may <clears throat> throw in a little, uh, our backstage crew is incredible. And we yes, work our are. sound people. We've got producers, which is my wife, by the way. Hi, Diane. <laughs> <laughs> we have sound people. We have, uh, we have incredible people uh, behind the scenes that do a lot of publicity people. But it's going to be very seamless the way it goes. So there'll only be a few minutes in between, uh, like maybe a minute or two, and then okay. the next play will start. Wow. <clears throat> yeah. Now, Robin, what, how are you involved? You're, are you directing, I'm, you're yes. acting, you're doing a little bit of everything? No, I'm directing. <laughs> I'm directing, uh, like I said, a, a piece called The Rehearsal. Okay. And so the interesting thing, too, is, uh, like he said, 25 actors. I've got six actors. He's got two actors. Mm -hmm. So it just varies from piece to piece um, uh, how many uh, are performing in each one. And uh, like I said, my piece is the rehearsal with six people. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. So, yeah. 
Now, in a, in a shorter piece, you know, some characters want to develop, and they have, want to have that time to develop their character and, and grow and change and have an arc and a story and a chain. You know, uh, I've gone from this mm -hmm. to this. Mm -hmm. Is 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 it a different approach when you have just such a small window for the characters to all? I mean, six people uh, yeah. on stage. Oh no, definitely. Their characters really can't evolve a lot, right? Um, well, that's interesting. They do the homework on their own mm -hmm. as far as what they bring to the table when we mm -hmm. come to rehearsal. Um, I can I can only speak for my group. Mm -hmm. They definitely, uh, and because I have an improv background, I'm giving them a lot to work with. Okay. And we can pull back, but we go full full tilt uh, <laughs> with what we're doing. And um, yeah, the actors, uh, my group is taking it very seriously. I think all of them are. Mm -hmm. They're going to enjoy it immensely. Mm -hmm. And it's like some are memorized, some are not. Okay. Um, like mine, they're going to be actually reading from the script mm -hmm. like a real reader's theater. Okay. okay. Where, but the, you still will see actors getting up and moving around. Mm -hmm. um, other pieces uh, will be like a traditional reader's theater. Well, they'll, they'll be at stands reading right, mm -hmm. right from the script. Um, Bob's, yours is completely memorized. Yeah, they had to memorize because in mine, it's a little bit more animated, people walking around, and it's, yeah. uh, it's a, a prisoner of Second Avenue, so it's... There's a lot of funny stuff goes on there, so it would be a little bit awkward trying to read the script and, and get uh, get the, the right movement. And yeah. that's, a, that's a director's call when you when right. you get the actors and then so you kind of and the actors I have are I hey guys you're fabulous if you're watching this the, the they're two actors but they're both incredible and they both learned their script by the second rehearsal they were good to go we, we and now it's just a question of blocking mm -hmm. making sure everybody's standing in the right place at the right time. Mm -hmm. And like you said, you guys chose the place, just a bunch of people throwing out a bunch of ideas and you kind of collected the best ones mm -hmm. up? That's kind of how it started. Yeah. We, we have a program, a committee at the Theater Guild and we all get together and uh, then they throw some ideas around and next thing you know, then we got the idea of having this Reader's Theater and then you get the, uh, then you get some directors, people like, people like myself who have some acting experience but not a lot of directing uh, experience. So then it's our chance to say, hey, I, I could think I could do that, mm -hmm. and I am having a ball. I love it. <laughs> and you just put on like a massive casting call, like, hey, everybody, whoever wants to be part of this, come on down? Yes, yeah, they put out the casting call, and then they have a specific time, and everybody comes, you can read for everything. So are we going to see some actors in multiple times no. up on the stage? Okay, no. No, yeah, no, <laughs> once you're cast in a piece, because it takes up a lot of time. Oh, yeah. yeah. But um, the, the uh, actual event, the casting, everybody comes. They can read for everything. They meet all the directors at that time. And uh, yeah, so it, it's really set up very well. I will say we, we, when, we, uh, when we send out uh, notices about auditions, they're open to anybody. We welcome everybody to the auditions. We love to have new people all the time. Um, well, the only thing we ask is if you do get cast in a part that you join the Theater Guild. Mm -hmm. And it's a lot of fun, a lot of great people, and it's really, I'm, I'm having a ball, and I just, it's like a yeah. second family now. Yeah. They really, uh, they really are. Yeah, you get a sense of community about yes. being in the Theater Guild and like, you know, the, the same folks working together. Mm -hmm. Absolutely. It's, if you're not having fun, you're doing something <laughs> wrong. <laughs> You guys got some stuff coming up in May and uh, some months coming up. What, what, tell, give me a quick preview. Uh, I'm sure we'll have you back, but quick preview of what else you have coming up. In May, up. We, have a, uh, we have some uh, people with a lot of theater experience, and they're going to get up and uh, tell us a little bit about what it's like uh, in different aspects of the theater. And in, uh, in June, we have some really exciting stuff. We have some, uh, we have, it, it's called In Juliet's Garden, and it's going to be, uh, not a Shakespeare play. This no. is a, a fun, a comedic takeoff on a lot of stuff. But inspired we also, by. Inspired by. It, it's inspired by, it's inspired by also, the the, the on, heroines. On June 9th, we have a uh, we're going to have a uh, an open. It's free. June 9th, we're going to get together and have Shakespeare, kind of Shakespeare in the park. Okay. But it's not about Shakespeare. It's going to have a lot of music, a lot of fun. Look forward. You'll see it advertised. All right, folks. Penelope of Plays, April 18th, Clubhouse 5. Doors open at 6.30. Make sure you get down there. Members are free and guests are $10. Yes. Come on Thank down. You. Thank you.